At war's end in May 1945, the Kriegsmarine remaining surface ships were distributed as prizes to the victorious Allies. But there was a major problem. The oceans were littered with sea mines, and the Allies were overstretched trying to find and destroy them all. The British came up with the answer, used the German Navy. So, though technically prisoners of war, an astonishing 27,000 Kriegsmarine sailors were ordered back to sea aboard a large fleet of surviving small warships, suitably disarmed, of course. The new unit was named the German Minesweeping Administration. The German sailors wore their World War II uniforms stripped of any Nazi-era insignia and served under their own officers and Kriegsmarine wartime regulations. This is Rear Admiral Fritz Kraus, head of the GMSA from 1945 to 47. Note the Reich Eagle insignia has been removed from his cap and tunic, as per British regulations. Unlike other prisoners of war, they were paid a moderate wage and received local leave. They soon exhibited a high esprit de corps. The biggest vessel was the light cruiser Leipzig, used as an accommodation ship for the GMSA. She was eventually towed out to sea and scuttled in July 1946. 82 World War II era M class mine hunters were used. 63 R boats also served. These small vessels had been built as minesweepers for the Kriegsmarine. They had also been used during the war for convoy escort, coastal patrol, mine laying, and air sea rescue. In 1954, 24 wartime R boats were transferred to the new Bundesmarine, the West German Navy, and remained in service until the late 1960s. The German units also operated six Speerbrecher, or mine barrage breakers. These ships were designed to sail through minefields, exploding mines as they went. The Kriegsmarine had also used them as U boat escorts in and out of harbours and armed them with anti aircraft cannon. There were also five auxiliary minesweepers, former fishing trawlers used by the Kriegsmarine, and another 110 assorted auxiliary ships. On the 25th of May 1946, the British issued a new blue uniform and special rank insignia system, but the GMSA's very efficiency and high esprit de corps began to worry both the British and the Soviets. They both feared that the GMSA would form the basis of a new German navy, it was essentially a continuation of Hitler's war navy. Against American wishes, the GMSA was disbanded in January 1948. During its service alongside the Allies, the GMSA lost 10 vessels and 348 men killed on operations. Though officially disbanded as a military organization, it was simply renamed and placed under civilian control, becoming the German minesweeping formation Cuxhaven, after the town in which it was based. Placed under the authority of the British Customs Service, it used the same men and ships and operated from January 1948 to June 1951, and between them the GMSA and its successor managed to clear a large portion of the 600,000 mines littering the seas of Northwest Europe. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share. Also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.